Ward 6 Nonpartisan Forum. <laughs> and as you can see, you are in the right place because the elected officials are now two minutes late. <laughs> well, to get things started, wow, a hush ball, <laughs> <laughs> they will now introduce themselves, taking one minute each, beginning on that side of the room. Please introduce yourself. All right, good evening. I'm Victoria Steele, representative-elect from Legislative District 9 in Tucson, and we only have a minute, huh? Okay, all right. Well, I am a Democrat, um, I have been, <laughs> and I am, this is my first time in office, I'm very excited to get started, and I have been put on three different committees that I'm very excited to be working on, the Health Committee, Transportation Committee, and the Insurance and Retirement Committee, and, and I look forward to getting started, actually I've already gotten started, I've got a few things in the works, and uh, I look forward to serving you. Muy buenas tardes, good evening. I'm uh, Macario Santana, I'm from Legislative District Number 3, and this is my second term. And uh, I, I look forward to and want to thank, uh, first of all, Steve Kosolchik for this wonderful meeting of bringing us together to talk over important issues. There's a lot we can do with, with, with this forum, and, and I want to thank you in particular. I think it was a great idea at a, at a very good time. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. I'm Olivia Canero Bedford, State Senator from District 3, which is primarily the west side of Tucson, southwest side of Tucson, University of Arizona. This is my 10th year in office, uh, two years in the Senate, and I served eight years in the House. I am glad to be a part of the legislative body. Um, politics has been a part of my family. My father served for, 25, for five years and then died in office. Uh, my mother replaced him, and she served for 24 years, and that was before term limits. So now I'm in my 10th year. <laughs> so come January 1, there will have been a Cajero at the legislature for uh, 41 years, and I'm glad to be a part of this community and to be a service. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ethan Orr. I'm a reference. Thank you. <laughs> for one. Uh, representative elect from uh, District 9, North uh, Speedway. I am the, uh, I'm the Republican, and uh, the first Republican to represent this area in 24 years. Uh, I'm serving on, uh, on the Vice Chair of Higher Education and Workforce. I'm on the Judiciary Committee, and I'm also on Energy and Natural Resources. I've worked on, I'm working on a number of bills. I've met with people on this table and people throughout our community on education, making our state's parks stronger, and uh, finding ways to enhance the laws to protect um, elderly and some of the most vulnerable among us. I'm looking to drop those bills next week. Uh, the legislative session starts on Monday, and I'm looking forward to working with everyone here and everyone at the table to make it a good one. Uh, good evening. My name is Richard Elias, and uh, I represent District 5 on the Pima County Board of Supervisors. Thank you very much. I've been very honored to serve uh, the citizens and residents of Pima County uh, for 10 years on the Board of Supervisors, and uh, my two board assignments are I'm a member of the Metropolitan Education Commission, and I'm also a member of the Board of Health. Uh, I'm a member of also some other boards here in town of local nonprofits and uh, educational institutions including the uh, schools that are operated by Chicanos por la Causa, as well as South Point Catholic High School. Um, we have a lot of things, a lot of work to do together as a community to make Pima County and Tucson a better place. Um, I intend to continue doing the work that we've been doing on the Board of Supervisors, and I think we've done an excellent job of, of managing ourselves through what has been uh, probably the greatest financial crisis in the history of the United States, really. And uh, we've done a good job of doing that, and uh, we intend to continue make, to make sure that we uh, uh, offer the services that are critical to the citizens of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I older brother was always quick on the draw, too. <laughs> 
Hello, I'm Ron Barber, uh, member of Congress. I'm uh, in Section 52, uh, just having completed uh, one quarter of uh, a term as the representative from Congress, Congressional District 8. As you may know, I served out the remaining term for our great Congresswoman, Gabrielle Giffords. I want to commend Council Member Kozacek for putting this together. As far as I can tell, it's the first of its kind ever to have done, pulled all of us together representing the same part of our community. Uh, as your member of Congress, I'm focused on some important national issues as well as ensuring that we continue to provide outstanding constituent services. I'm concerned, as I have been in this last six months, about protecting our seniors and their programs that they've invested in, looking out for our veterans, military families, and men and women in uniform, looking at border security as a continuing issue, as well as beginning the dialogue we must have to fix our broken immigration system. And so I'm looking forward to working on those for the next two years and serving you with constituent services at our two offices, one in Tucson and the other in Sierra Vista. Thank you for coming here tonight. Yeah, I'm Steve Kozacek. Sharon Bronson was uh, had at RSVP to be here. Her husband went through surgery today, um, and so uh, she's at home with him totally appropriately. So we just wish Sharon and her husband the best. Uh, I want to give a, a few words of thanks in case we get out of here without having had a chance to do that. For, first of all, to Peg Johnson and to her staff. <laughs> The none of us thought that the, the, the run-up to this was going to be quite as interesting as it has been. So, <laughs> also Lisa Horner and the Access Tucson workers are volunteering their time. And this still will be on Jan after January 13th on Cox 20 and Comcast 74, Saturdays at 11 a.m. and Sundays at 7. Uh, my partners on the stage up here, I am really appreciative of their, of their agreeing to, uh, to show up here and also to Fitz. Uh, he was selected because the price was right, just to say it was <laughs> So thank you for showing up. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Rothschild, I'm the mayor of the city of Tucson. And uh, the rabbi spoke of it, but it's none of the uh, speakers in front of me have. I came here tonight because uh, it's important that on this date we engage in political dialogue that is based on civility, respect, and understanding. Uh, and, and I think what you're going to see tonight, which will be unique, and I'm looking forward to it, is it is very rare that you will see on the same stage answering similar questions, uh, federal, state, county, and city representatives. And I think it's going to be a great discussion with some really good minds. And so I'm glad you all came because uh, for us to sit and talk uh, doesn't mean anything unless we have people who care and want to know what's really going on in this community. So I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Raul Grijalva. I represent uh, <laughs> for the invitation, a great idea, and we're happy to be here and happy to be here with my elected colleagues and, uh, of course, with my esteemed colleague from Congress, uh, Ron Barber, who we both toiled in the land of Oz. Uh, <laughs> the discussion today is about common sense. It is about civility but it is about reality that carries with it a sense of urgency. That an urgency that I believe can't be delayed or avoided. The issues dealing with gun safety, gun control, as uh, sharply divided as they may be, are still issues that the American people need to need some resolution to, and they need it to be treated with, some, with, with a great deal of priority and urgency. Woo! And I think the discussion today uh, is the only winners out of this discussion today, and I think the mayor said how important this was, uh, are the American people, the people of this community, and a generation of children uh, that will grow up uh, if we do our jobs correctly, uh, if with more security, 
and less violence. And uh, we can't overestimate how important that is to all of us. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Dave Bradley. I'm Senator-elect from District 10. You're sitting about 20 or 30 feet outside District uh, 10, where we're across the street. In this um, thank you all for coming. Thanks, Steve, for organizing this. Thanks for all of you who came. Uh, thanks to Senator Antonori, who brought his uh, lot of folks with him today. We're only going to get somewhere if we have civil discourse among each other. Um, you know, I've, been, I've spent the last 32 years of my career fighting poverty, violence, and substance abuse in this community. Um, we're only going to get there when we put our heads together and try to figure out what's the best way to, to help our community. And I appreciate, again, Steve organizing this event. And I'm Steve Farley. And you, you, you have given me the honor of, uh, being, of electing me to being your state senator from District 9 to what will be sworn in next Monday. Whoops. That's okay. <laughs> And I can tell time. <laughs> that was a trolley bell. <laughs> I was going to tour the visiting streetcars, and they're looking good, I'll tell you. I served you previously for, for three terms as your state representative in District 28, though many of you might know me better as uh, the, the artist who did those big black and white photo murals on Broadway just these <laughs> I'm so excited to see so many people here and so passionately involved in our policies that we'll be enacting in the future. I remember a history teacher telling me a long time ago that part of the reason why this great American experiment has lasted for now 236 years and is still going strong is because we have never let the argument die. We keep the arguments alive. No one person or one group has ever grabbed all the power and all the answers. That's where you get into trouble in world history. So by you being here today, we're keeping our arguments alive and we're keeping them civil and we're discussing what we need to discuss in order to make this an even better country than it already has been. So thank you for playing your part. Good evening. Dios enseñe algo. Ine Poseli González Tetec. Good evening, and I am Sally Young Gonzalez, very honored to represent District 3, which is all of the west side, along with um, Senator Olivia Bedf uh, Cajero Bedford and Macario Saldate. I, I am here to listen. Um, as somebody mentioned, I've, I've been um, all my life um, facing discrimination and faced it even tonight here, just by, because of the way I look. Oh. Um, nobody seems to, to, to um, believe that I could be an elected official, <laughs> but I am, and in 1996 I became the first Native American woman to be elected to the state legislature. I'm currently the only sitting woman, and um, uh, we, we, there is a, a Navajo, um, James Sita, who is um, a representative from up north, um, elect, which will be, who will be sworn in on Monday. But I'm here um, to to listen and to carry your voice um, to the state legislature and and like everybody said, uh, said um, be a civil and 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 act on what the people and what the community needs. Thank you. <laughs> 